Parole Alternator or MR2 Spider. It's the 11Z. I had to replace this as you can see the terminal there. Alternator works, but it's this little terminal, so we had to take the whole thing apart just to remove this little thing. Two is very susceptible to water, it's a convertible. So um, usually the power is very poor after I wash it. Uh, maybe I need to check like the dr water drain. These you could take out with a little eight millimeter socket. that it, it's harder when when you just get it out um, but don't forget there are screws on the side You guys didn't see that, huh? It was off camera, so I got it all in. But let me take it back out. So the starting point, three bolts, slide it in. Um, the terminal comes out through this bracket of thing that helps orientate it. So you slide the piece in. And then this goes in around there or otherwise if you pull it out as an assembly it will look like that one piece so assembly going back down and this goes in between and they this connects to the assembly also so you slide it in like that and then we're going to screw the whole thing Okay, I got all the side screws in. There's four of them. And there are four screws in here. One, two, three. Okay, three. And then there's two on the side for the fin. I always want to call it a amplifier fins. But they're just cooling fin, most electrical parts. But I thought, um, I knew it worked because I still get current from the, the battery. Just not enough. Um, lights would be just so dim. Power steering would not work. And then um, give it, I, when I first just replaced the terminal, it was rusty. Not the terminal, but the terminal wire. I wouldn't be able to listen to music for like a good 10 minutes of driving until it builds enough, enough um, juice into the battery. And then the flat top one. They're all four point um, screwdri screwdrivers. The longer one goes here. It gets the um, the fin, puts the fin in there. There's also this guy. So now we just put the cover on. And earlier, I almost forgot the plastic. Um, Thing for that cover so there's this plastic piece it goes like that see how the dust would correspond you see the little tab here so if I flip it over it'll just match it and so for my car it the plug comes out to the side and for the Corolla it would have a little cover here or an opening 
of course it has a cover but it does have an opening and the opening will come out like so that way and my car comes out this way he just sits he sits in this little square this little square here so he bolts down that like with the cover oh so he's gonna be right here just like that so the little nuts they go over the bolt that sets them all down and I assume this forget these the I don't know when plastic burn it just looks like fiberglass but that's what it looks like so I'm gonna go with the new one don't forget to slip that in here sorry if the camera shakes I got the nuts here burnt rusted the rust glued it onto the the bolt or the stud or at all the thin ones the thin nuts at the bottom my my wrong so the flat one, see, the high one goes over the wire, the wire to the battery. So we are good. Tomorrow, we're going to open the harness and take out that molten or that rusty blue alternator wire to the battery. We're going to take that out and replace it. We got a new one. So originally, my quick fix. Um, I needed to drive the MR2, so I just cut the, the tip of the wire and I replace it with a generic one. So this is a spare tip. In case